Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Magical Maiden and today I'm going to be doing a jewelry tutorial on one of the items that I've received from Panda Hole Selected. Panda Hole Selected contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try three products that I can choose. So when I went on the site I saw so many things I didn't know. I wanted everything. But I narrowed it down to three items. Two I've already shown you and I've done a review and jewelry tutorial on them. Today I'm going to be doing another jewelry tutorial on one of the other products. Now the first products were the double sided crescent moons and they came in five different colors. And if you haven't seen that, just go to my jewelry tutorial playlist and you will find that or you can go look below. I will link it below as well as all the links for all the items that I had received as well as the link for Pantahole Selected Online Shop and a discount coupon code. So when you're done with this video, be sure to look below this video in the description box for all those links. So it was a double-sided crescent moon with glass cabochon and the black obsidian 8mm beads. And today it's going to be these beautiful, good quality. I'm telling you, it's good quality. It's sturdy. It's not flimsy. It's not cheap. Uh, they're very nice, bright silver. Bright silver. And it comes with glass cabochons. So you get six of these. You get six of these with matching glass cabochons. And there's so many things you can do with them. So let's get started. So something you can do with this glass cabochon bezel bracelet that comes with the cabochon, six in each. In this jewelry tutorial, you can either paint it like the last jewelry tutorial I did using these crescent moons with some cello glitter, nail art, nail polish, or just glitter and nail polish, or you can, instead of using the glass cabochons that came with it, you can make some resin pendants. And you get a mold, and you can get some seashells. Now you can file it to fit in. So they'll probably be a little big, but then you take a file. And you don't have to just use seashells. You could put anything in it. For instance, this one is a little... So this one is like a little... Um, plastic charm that I have of a cat and it's a little big for this but you get the idea they have smaller ones. You can use stickers as well on the back of the glass cabochon with some clear nail polish and in my jewelry tutorials I show you how you use stickers with glass cabochons so look so have a look through my jewelry tutorial playlist and you'll see stickers with glass cabochons. So there's no end to the multitude of crafts you can do using these bracelets. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with this project. What you're gonna need for this project are some, a paper towel, some Q-tips, some toothpicks, some rubbing alcohol, some clear liquidy nail polish and some nail polish and any color you desire or you could also add some glitter nail polish or dry glitter to this as well now if you wanted to use a sticker like I said you can and I have a jewelry tutorial on my jewelry tutorial playlist showing you how to use stickers on glass cabochons so you might want to check that out in my jewelry tutorial playlist Okay, another thing we can use is some cello glitter or nail art because they have cello glitter in it. And this is foils. So I have foils. Okay, isn't that cool? All right, <clears throat> so the first thing I want to do is pick out my bracelet. There's six of them in the package. I'll put these out of the way and I'm going to get one of these cabochons because that's all it takes. Now, I showed you that you could also use some resin cabochons but you have to have a small enough one so 
a small tray for that and then file it well so it'll fit in there and you can add anything in there and paint it with just nail polish on the back that's another option another thing you're also going to need before i forget is some e6000 jewelry glue because when you are ready and the cabochon is ready to be put in you're going to glue it with some clear e6000 jewelry glue and a toothpick and you'll need the paper towel just so in case it gets messy you've got it all right now i'm going to clear this section up with this bracelet out of the way and the first thing i'm going to do before i proceed is i'm going to take a q-tip and my rubbing alcohol and i'm going to just put a little bit on and blot it on the paper towel a little so i'm not drenching it now the cabochon is domed so on the flat side not the dome side i'm going to just go like that to make sure that any fingerprints or residue are off of there okay another thing you might want to consider is having some nail polish remover close by if you decide to use your nail polish because if you get any nail polish on the sides or on the front of the dome you can remove it with a q-tip and some nail polish remover and then go over it with another q-tip and some rubbing alcohol and that's how just to get that residue off of the nail polish remover okay so now what i'm going to do oh also when you're done on the front you'll want to take this and it gives it a nice shine okay so now i'm going to match the pendant that i made the double side crescent moon pendant now one side was red and the other side was black but i'm going to do this one in black now you can do anything you want any color you want whether it be a picture or resin or if you want to paint this just a solid color with a little glitter or if you want to use some nail art or solid glitter go ahead and do it so i'm going to first decide before i start doing anything do i want cello glitter do i want foil now you could add a little foil to it like a little purple foil that might look really nice but it's not going to match my pendant so maybe from one of my mini bracelets i'm going to do that and i will come back and do this so i'm going to make this pretty much the same as the other one but it's the same way whether you're using foil or whether you're using cello glitter now sometimes cello glitter or nail art is a little big and you want little tiny pieces so you're probably going to want to get a scissor so you can cut the pieces down to size but if you're going to use some nail art like this they tend to have already some big pieces some they already have little tiny pieces here and that's what it looks like and i'm going to just put a little along the side here I don't want to empty this whole entire thing out. So if you can't find the cello glitter, go ahead and use some nail art. Same thing. <clears throat> I think they also call it fantasy fill. Okay. Now that your glass cabochon is nice and clean, you're going to get a clear nail polish. Preferably a very liquidy one. See how it moves around? You know how some can be thick? You don't want that because the thick ones are hard to work with and it can turn yellow and then you don't want that yellow shining through so you don't need much because this is not such a big cabochon and you want to get it all in there okay and that's that so now that i got that i'm going to take gotta have a toothpick and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my magnifying <laughs> light and I'm gonna go over it so I can see and I'm gonna take some little pieces of cello glitter like I said if it's too big I'm going to cut it but there's some small pieces of glitter that piece is way too big 
<laughs> so I'm looking for a nice that's way too big clean this up you want to turn it around and look just look at it a little bit you know make sure you you've got enough on but you don't want too much because you want to see some of the the paint now I'm going to get this cello glitter out of the way and I'll clean that up later so what I'm going to do is before I start any painting it's very important to put a coat of clear over this and you're going to want to blot it see how I'm doing that I'm patting it blotting it patting it and put a good amount because what that's going to do is as you put it over it's going to seal that cello glitter okay make like a seal because you don't want when you go to paint and add color for that color to go under the cello glitter or nail art because then it's just not going to show your cello glitter or nail art now if some of the pieces come off don't panic take your little toothpick and go ahead and push them there and position them where you want them move them around okay because that's bound to happen okay and once you have them where you want them and you patted them down if some of them are sticking up and give you trouble go ahead and remove it and add a flatter piece but you have a little bit of time to look and make sure that's where you want them and so if you're happy with that go ahead and put this aside and let it dry so while I wait for the glass cabochon to dry I'm going to show you what you can do with this is that you can put even so if you can see how deep that bezel tray is so if, now if you didn't want to put a resin cabochon in there and you didn't want to use the glass dome cabochon that it comes with you can easily cut up get a picture and put it there or you can put you can easily put little a little flat sticker or charm or anything you want in there okay you can paint this part put a little sticker or any little thing you want that doesn't sit up too far because that's where the tray looks and then drizzle some resin over it okay so that's another idea that you can do these are so versatile and you get six of these and these are so pretty so you can do that okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it to match the pendant that I made the crescent moon pendant where it was a double-sided and I want to wear it as a set and since I have six of them I can do anything I want with them so now what I'm gonna do is I'm using the black nail polish you can use paint but like I said the reason why I don't use paint is because if you get any nail polish on the sides or the front, all you have to do is use a Q-tip and some nail polish remover it comes right off. Okay, so now when you do this, you're going to want to use a padding motion. Kind of dab it on. You don't want to go, because you may, if it's a little tacky and not completely dry, which your best bet is to wait till it's completely dry. But if it isn't, you might wipe away your cello glitter. Now, if you wanted to have added glitter, you should have done it before the paint. You could have done it before you stuck on the um, fantasy film or cello glitter as well. Okay? And then you would do the second coat of clear and then your paint. So, like I said, just dab, pat it on. Okay? You might want to give it two coats. And you want to make sure that it's painted all around because you don't want to spot without paint. So, before you glue it, you got to make sure. So I'm just tap, tap, tapping on. So I'm just patting it on. And I'm going to go continue to do that. So right now I'm waiting for the glass cabochon for the bracelet to dry. Once it dries, you're going to want to make sure you have some toothpicks, a paper towel, and some E6000 glue for the next step. I'm going to go see if the cabochon is dry yet. It's as dry as it's going to get. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my E6000 jewelry glue, okay, my paper towel to wipe off the excess, and my toothpick. 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this. I'm going to get some glue on my toothpick. And then I'm just going to put a little, probably more than I needed, and put it in the center and then just kind of go ahead and as you see what I'm doing just spread it around now you don't need that much so if you find that that you put too much just wipe your toothpick on your paper towel so that's what I did now I'm gonna my paper towel and now I'm going to see how I want my cabochon gonna position it okay when you're sure that you like where it is go ahead and press down so it can get that glue on it now the good thing about e6000 glue it gives you uh, a, about a little wiggle room between five and eight minutes to move it around it will adhere in about 15 20 minutes but it does take 24 hours for it to fully cure so I wouldn't wear it right away okay so there it is it's on there now I'm gonna let this glue dry and I'll let it sit and dry for a little bit before I show you the next step what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rubbing alcohol and a q-tip and I'm going to just add a little bit of alcohol on there and then I'm going to blot it and then what I'm going to do is to clean this and give it a good shine I'm going to rub this on there see what a good shine that gives It's got to dry and adhere with the glue, but this is it. This is the final product. It dried and it has different colors. You have a little bit of silver and see how it's iridescent with the colors. And that's it. And now I'm going to put it on and I'm going to show you what it looks like on. Now the glue still has to dry, but I just wanted to give you that look. Isn't that fun? I love it. Now it's going to match the pendant that I made and I'm very happy. Very happy with that. So this is some of the, so that's it. That's the craft for today. So that's it. That's how you can, uh, so that's it. So that's one of the ideas that you can do with this bracelet. And let me get you some light over here. And you can do anything you want with this it's simple it's easy it's fun and remember to look for all the links for this bracelet and other thing and the other two items below this video in the description box along with the discount coupon code don't forget that and the link to the handle selected online shop so go ahead and go check it out and go get yourself some and start crafting thanks for watching I'll see you in my videos bye mm -hmm.